I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a sloth. I'm going to take one finger over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across and leave it floating. I come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curved line in, curved line out, curved line in, curved line out, curved line in, and then I'm going to mimic the line that I just drew and connect right at the end. Okay, now I'm going to take one finger, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a curve line down, come back to the dot, curve line down, but I'm going to leave it floating. I come back to this section right here and I draw a curve line up, connect. Come back right about here, curve line up, connect. Right at this point, I'm just going to go one, two, three curve lines. I come over about midpoint and I'm going to draw a curve line up. I'm going to draw one, two, three curve lines. I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line over. Curve line up. I'm going to draw one, two, three curve lines. Now I come back down, draw a curve line down, curve line up. One, two, three curve lines. Okay. Now I come back over here to this floating line and I'm going to draw curve line up, connect. Starting right about here on the bottom, I draw a curve line up, in, out, connect. Starting right about here at the bottom, I'm going to draw a curve line over, up, curve line up again, connect. Starting on the left hand side, I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line down on the left, come on the right. Straight line, curve line, straight line down on the right. Inside I draw a baby circle and a little curve line on the left. Baby circle, little curve line on the right. Right in the center. I'm going to draw a flat oval and now a curve line. I'm going to come back over to this section and I'm just going to repeat this curve line up and connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color my branch. So I'm going to take a green and I'm just going to come inside and just put some lines of color. All the way down, jump over jump over and bring it over here to the right. Then with my brown, I'm going to come back in and double color next to the green with my lines. Put your lines in. Okay. And now lightly with my brown, I'm going to color over the top of all the above. So we're going to do a couple of double colors on this on the branch and on the sloth. Okay? Alright. Now, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color in by using little dots of black color on my face, my eye patches. And that's because I don't want to totally lose my eyeballs. I'm going to color my nose. Okay. I'm going to color this little outside part of his face. 
but I'm doing it lightly. You don't want to do this very dark because it is black. Okay, so I'm going to do that lightly. Then I'm going to start doing little fur curved lines all the way down and around my body. Keep going. Keep going. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to do my claws. These are very important. This is what keeps them hanging. So I'm going to do my three little curve lines, curve lines, curve lines on my claws. Okay. Then with my brown, I'm going to lightly loop de loop my face. And I'm going to loop de loop my entire body space lightly not too dark all the way over a little bit darker I'm going to do this outside fur line and then I'm going to take my brown crayon and do more curved lines for fur because he is a furry little guy okay All right, looking at my branch, I think I need a little bit more green. And maybe fill that in a little bit better with my brown. So you can always add more color, but you can't take color away. So that's why they always say, well, start with your lightest color, come in with your dark, Take a minute, look at it, see if it needs more color. Because you can always add, but it's hard to take it away. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is take my black and color in my little half circles on my eyeballs. And, as always, I'm going to take my green and draw straight lines in the background. Now, some of you might want to do plants, leaves, a whole other kind of tree background, but this I'm just going to do because it doesn't take away from the sloth. Okay, all the way over. Jump over. Don't draw through your drawing. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my sloth, all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.